Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Eating ice right now. Ah, okay. Not eating ice right now. Okay, thank you. This here will be a ultimate Trackmaster push along. Um, Trackmaster push along Thomas review. Showing Thomas from each set and two I further on customized throughout. And these are the sets I used for the following uh the following two years since I got them. It's been a whole I think I had to bid off a whole week for that to happen. Anyways, let's get started to showcase Thomas at the windmill. This is the Thomas that came with this one. He's a bit stock standard. That's nothing special about him. No buffer detailing, no window detailing, and no, and the whistle isn't painted. This is the windmill you saw from like Adventures and Collectible Railway ETC. Haven't you seen this in Motorized Railway? I think many of you, most of you, may remember this from Asian merchandise, like, like I mentioned earlier, like Collectible Railway and Motorized Railway. Licensing info, it says uh, 2013 Galene Thomas Limited, 2013 Mattel, 1186 MJINL. That's the same code that was shown shown when I reviewed when I reviewed uh, cars I had when I when when I collect them now. I when either I collect them now or when I collect them back then. Made in China. Not Thailand. As this Thomas right here. Don't be fooled with the uh, licensing info. Correctly, correctly date this. I correctly date this as 2019. This happens to be the. This happens to be 2018. Same code from the windmill. And made in Thailand, not China. Windmill China, Thomas Thailand. Starting to be a contem contemporary manufacturer from Thailand. Starting to be a contemporary manufacturer for the right, no, Thailand's being one manufacturer that made these items. So at least that's what it is now. Next up is hard at work at Brendam Docks. This Thomas is a little bit different. I customize it as Mario. This is the green truck, green conflat that came with it, and here's Cranky. One of the first Crankies I ever owned. And this one definitely had to put me on its best. The thing I don't like is that Cranky is a Gannery crane. I also have a cargo piece, but but somewhere along that, I'm currently using in a set right on set for a movie Dono. That's what it is, right? I'm doing it right now. The green truck, the green con flat. Nothing special about it, except it's just stock standard, like most of these guys are. And these axles are plastic, and and if I take an instant still, uh break apart. Now what about this? Okay, I uh, painted this as Mario. He's definitely my OC based on the Super Mario franchise. And in this case, I'm gonna have this OC relate to his SMG4 self. He does have buffer detailing, unlike this one. No whistle or window detailing. What a surprise that I haven't painted them. Plus he's got a white running board. I mean, yes. That's my take on the hard at work. I mean, Brendan Fish. That's my take at the Brendan Fish Market. This guy. This guy be the track master. Okay. Next up is the Natford Station set. We get Thomas all bet painted as Penny. In case you don't know who Penny was, I guess if Penny is as a character, 
She's my OC based on Bolt. Bolt was released in 2008, yes. I was definitely three at, in 2008. I mean, Wally came out the same year as Bolt. Def okay, for Penny, her hair detailing has been um, removed. She has some she has some slight wear, I guess. Mario also had slight wear, I guess. His original paint is showing. He's got a few chips on it, but, that, but that's okay. Despite all this, this looks a bit unfinished, at least. She has a bit of small detailing here. She's got a white running board, just like Mario. And some buffer detailing, which is unfortunately fading away. And plus, just like Mario, she has a name on the back. I put the name on the back for those guys, though. For these two, because it'd be easy for starters, including younger Thomas fans, to, uh understand who they are like they can look at the back but Thomas it's simply easy look at the undercarriage I didn't have time to slap Penny or Mario in the undercarriage so I put them in the back no window and whistle detailing yet again this coach well it's definitely not a coach it looks more like a double decker coach than just a coach. And when you flatten this up, it looks more like a coach then. Okay. This coach had became a trademark coach for throughout the following throughout the following years. All Engines Go merch took this coach, yes. It's been uh, repainted since the Knapford station set was resold. I'm not bothering to buy it. And it, and this color was, was also available in the Percy's passenger run set. I also am not going to bother buying any. Anywho. So yeah. I gotten around to Trackmaster Push Along. I first gotten around to it when I got, when I got uh, Push Along Rebecca which will be showcased later. And then a year later, I got some sets. And then a few more years later, I uh, never had to buy them again, though. Not at least what I had to bother with. Let's go a bit of a comparison with the Trackmaster models. Uh, let's compare Thomas. We all know the face is a bit different, but the running board remains the same. The Hit Toy Company base is not the Hit. This is the Hit Toy Company base, not the Play Rail one. The buffer detailing is a bit missing. This one, uh, the buffer detailing was scratched when I first got this guy, and I painted it very, very well with Sharpie. Like most, like most take-along items, no side rods. And plus there hasn't been any cab door detailings in there. And plus on the Trackmaster one, the coal bunker detailing isn't a bit painted. And there's no lamp on the back of this one. And if you can look on the top, this one's a bit scratched. And plus, window detailing and whistle detailing. No. So this is my uh, take and comparison on these two. I'll definitely get my view on items as of now. I'm starting. Let's compare to Mario. A bit, it's a bit darker compared to his, uh, his Trackmaster model is a bit darker compared to his Push Along one. His Push Along one is accurately a bit red. This one, though, will be considered a prototype. If it is considered prototype, the wheels aren't a bit painted brown.
No side detailing on the Trackmaster 1, whereas the M is visible. And no cab door detailing. Name on the back. This this piece is a bit uh the coupling is a bit a bit broken. I I couldn't get this guy to open. This Mario is a frustrating custom to make though. He was repainted from a slippy soda or Thomas. I got like I mean I originally got this I originally got a slippy soda or Thomas like um um I originally got the Slippy Soda Thomas eleven years ago, but lost and then and then I happened to grab it again in twenty sixteen years later. And with that comparison all the way, let's compare to the more recent model though, and that is Penny. They both have running boards. Hair detailing is missing. No writing on the uh on these on these yellow detailing though. The black wheels are also painted instead of being handmade. The Trackmaster wand does not have a name written on the back. It has a name written on the front. It has a name written on her side plates like she gained in the uh, series. Yes, she has gained side plates. And her side plates, though, may be a bit easier for, for, maybe easier for starters, including younger fans, to understand Penny. And what may not understand what younger viewers may not understand about Penny is her character. And yes, like I said before, she is my OC based on Bolt. There was originally an o, an o, um, there was originally N O twenty two. She was originally she was originally number twenty two. She was twenty two at the time I made this, but uh, but uh, but uh, yes. Since Rebecca, I, her number is now changed to 95, which is referencing the year Toy Story was released. Not just that, but it's, but it also confirms the year Penny was born, 1995, July 14, July 14th, 1995 is her birthday. As said, no window detailing and no whistle detailing. That's why, uh, yeah. All right. We got this comparison all out of hand. I like to, uh, thank some of my, um, fans and my fellow, uh, viewers for, uh, watching this, um, video with pleasure. And, uh, yeah. And if you are a Trackmaster fan and Trackmaster collector in in personal like me though. And you may have noticed that that you didn't have very many very many amount of characters as a kid and somehow uh collected more along the way like I did. I'll be able to tell you about hmm maybe about the legacy of Trackmaster, not in case what you already know, but it's, but it's also about, about the entirety and history of how my collection has gained over the years. From way back in 2007 when I was about two, up to 2022 when I was, when I'm currently 17. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, as always, what? Okay, end note.